Right, look at this code. Now what you'll see in this code is the fact that it's a basic calculator. It will take the variables num1, num2, num3, get the user to input some data into them and then add them together and store that in sum. Then it'll output some on the screen. Right? So that's what it basically does. But imagine we want to add 20 numbers together or something like that. We want a lot better method than having to have 20 variables. And this is where loops come in. Now the loop we're going to have a look at at the moment is a for loop. And for any for loop you need a variable. And I want to have count and set it as an integer for a start. And then we need a, a variable that the user actually inputs the number into, which I'm just going to call input and have that as an integer. And then we need the sum which is going to be the total and that's also going to be an integer. Now, the loop. Before that we set sum equal to zero, so sum becomes zero and then four. Now count becomes one, two, five, do. And then because it's a loop we need a begin and an end. Right, now the four count becomes one to five, do. We'll set count equal to zero, equal to one to start off with because we put one there it will do whatever's in the any command that is in this begin and end it will then jump back up to here again set count equal to 2 and repeat the process then count equal to 3 4 and when count equals 5 it will go through with count equal 5 it will get to the end and then it will quit the loop right and i'm going to create a program to utilize this now we're going to have a, a basic calculation so we're going to go right ln or actually right enter number space, co um, speech mark, comma, and then we want to output count. And that will automatically tell us what number we want to input. And then read ln um, input, because that's the data that we're actually having inputted into the computer. Then what we need to do is we need to get the sum to become the sum plus input. All right, so we add on the input to sum. And then at the end, we need to write ln um, the total is something like, I'll put an equals instead, the total is, and then we're going to output some, like that, and then we need a read ln to pause the display. There we go. So enter, there you go, enter number one. So C equals one, so we are entering number one. So if I put 50, enter number two, 60, 30, minus 30, 312, and 555, there you go, something like that. The total is 337. So you see how that works perfectly? One thing you might want to do is when it says enter the number, um, I'm going to actually here put another comma, another speech mark, space and speech mark, because now when it input, we'll have a space here so the numbers don't get in between, so I can enter 60 or whatever numbers I want, and it'll add them all together and give it in a total. So that's the for loop. Now, there's two different types of loops besides the for loop. There's a repeat loop and there's a while loop. And in the next tutorial, we're going to have a look at the while loop. So I hope this, um, this for loop has actually been of some benefit for you.